Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today, <laughs> oh, today we are going to be tackling the declutter that I have been dreading the most. Yeah, I can't even pick the box up. I can't even pick it up all the way. These are all of my brown lipsticks. Nudes and browns. Yeah, uh, ooh. Let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, so here it is, the category that will break me. This is all of my browns, nudes, kind of oranges, stuff that falls along those lines, and anything else that may have just not yet been taken a look at and swatched. So just as we have done in the previous episodes, we're going to go ahead and dump everything out see if there's anything that has never been used and can therefore be donated, and then we'll go ahead and we will get to swatching. All right, so we have 14 that are still wrapped or in their original packaging or have never been used. So these are going to be pulled away to be donated, and then we'll go ahead and we'll get to swatching the rest. Let's get into this. All right, so the first one here is from the Disney Villains collection. I will be keeping all of these. I not only love this particular shade, this one is Hades, uh, but the packaging is 10 out of 10 awesome. So that will be a keeper. This is a shade from L'Oreal. This is in the shade 839 Cinnamon Toast. This is one that I really do like quite a lot. I am going to go ahead and put this in my keep section because this is just a really beautiful brown with some red, uh, bricky red undertones to it. And I love it, it's beautiful. This is from NYX, this is one of their Velvet Matte Lipsticks. This is in the shade Charmed. And I think this one I am gonna go ahead and declutter. It's just on the drier side and I just don't really want anything that I'm gonna have to struggle with. This is from Lipstick Queen. This is shocking. There looks like there is nothing there at all. This is in the shade Float. I do not see the purpose in my keeping this because it, I can't imagine, shows up on me at all. So this is gonna be a declutter. This right here is from Maybelline and it is in the shade Toasted Truffle. This one I remember I really used to love, but for the moment I am gonna go ahead and put it in my chopping block section just to make sure it is something that I still love. Again, we have a ColourPop lipstick. This one is in the shade Slow Dance and I love this. It is stunning. I'm going to be keeping it. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Dream Girl. Again, this is an absolutely beautiful, easy to wear shade. I haven't worn it in a while, so I am gonna go ahead and put it in my chopping block section. This is from Mented Cosmetics. This is in the shade Foxy Brown, and it is a beautiful brown shade, so we are going to be holding on to this. This is a mini from Kiko Milano. This is in the shade 03. This is from their Power, what is this? Powder Power Lipstick Line. Wow, that's difficult to say. This is really beautiful. I don't remember though how I feel about it. I feel like I do really like this one, but I am gonna put it in my chopping block section just to be sure. Behind it, we have a mini from Bare Minerals. This one is in the shade Notorious. I do really enjoy this formula and this color, and I'm pretty sure I can pan this, so we'll go ahead and hold on to it. This is from Wander Beauty. This is in the shade Spice. And again, this is one that I really, really enjoy. It's very easy to wear. And I am gonna go ahead and hold on to it. This is from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Ring Around the Rosy. And while this is an absolutely beautiful shade and it still went on nice and creamy, um, I've had it for a really long time. So I am gonna go ahead and declutter it. This is from Bite Beauty. This is one of their multi-sticks in the shade Cashew. I absolutely adore this color. I think this color is just stunning. But as you guys may know from my other declutter videos, this is a formula that I just don't enjoy. So sadly, I'm going to be decluttering this one. This one is Bobbi Brown Brownie. One of my favorites, absolutely holding on to it. And then finally, we have from Bite Beauty, one of their mini of the Amuse Bouche lipsticks in the shade Chai. 
probably one of my very favorite bite lipstick colors i don't know if this came back in their new relaunch but i hope it did because it is just so flattering and beautiful All right, topping off our next round we have from Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Sonic Truth. This is just absolutely beautiful. However, I am keeping others and I have kept others that are similar in shade. So as beautiful as this is and as much as I enjoy the Marc Jacobs formula, I am going to be going ahead and decluttering this one. This next shade is Bloom to Bloom. This is one of my ColourPop lipsticks, which you guys know I absolutely love. I'm honestly though not quite sure about the color. So this one's actually going to go into my chopping block. This is an icon, an absolute icon. This is from Urban Decay. This is in the shade 1993. I'm actually gonna put this in my chopping block. As iconic as this color is, I don't remember if this is one that flatters me. It is awfully deep and I am typically very fair. So if I'm not careful when things are too dark or too grayish, they can really wash me out and just make me look a bit dead. So we're gonna put this in the chopping block. This is from Becca Cosmetics. This is in the shade Sugar. I really do enjoy this formula so, so much and this color is a great mixing shade for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this one. Again, we have one of the Bite Beauty multi-sticks. This one is in the shade Cerise. Cerise, I'm not exactly sure how to say that. Um, but just like the other one, I am gonna go ahead and declutter it. It's a gorgeous shade. I just, I don't love this formula. This is from the Sephora House brand. This is in the shade, I think it's just N05. And it's really pretty. I like the formula. I am gonna go ahead and hold on to this one. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Jador, which I attempted to pan a couple of years ago and uh, failed, failed miserably at it. I love this color. I think this looks really pretty, but I have kept other lipsticks that are similar in color. And to be honest with you, if I haven't pulled for this since that project, I'm probably not going to. So sadly, this is gonna be decluttered. All right, this right here is from Buxom. This is in the shade Sinful. It just honestly went on kind of dry and I have to be nitpicky at this point. So I am gonna go ahead and declutter it. From Pat McGrath, this is the shade 1995. I do really like this, so we are gonna hold on to it. Again, we have a mini of the Bare Minerals. This time it is in the shade Pinko, and we are gonna hold on to this one as well. This gorgeous, gorgeous orgy red is from ColourPop. It is in the shade Fee Fi Fo. And yes, of course I'm keeping it. This is from Buxom. This is in the shade Poison Nectar. This is going to go in my chopping block. I'm not 100% sure about the undertone of this color and whether or not it's going to flatter me. So we're going to put it into the chopping block and see what I think. This is from BH Cosmetics. This is one of their color lock. It is in the shade Devotion. I really like this color quite a bit. I don't remember this formula, honestly, at all. So I think I'm going to put this in my chopping block. This one I actually have two of. This is from Tarte. This is in the shade Set Sail. I have a full size and I have a mini. So we're gonna go ahead and keep the full size and then declutter the mini. The shade is just beautiful. This is from Rimmel. This is in the shade 47. You guys, I love this color. I love this color so much, but I hate this scent with a passion. I have tried to wear this so many times and if I hold my breath, I'm happy, but <laughs> it smells exactly like the cherry candy canes and I don't like it and it lasts forever. So sadly, even though the color is gorgeous, this is gonna be a declutter. All right, this is from Maybelline. This is in the shade Gone Grey. What was I thinking? No, declutter. This is from MAC. This is one of their holiday releases from a couple of years ago. This is in the shade I'm Glistening, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, I'm Glistening. And I built this up a lot. This, I'm pretty sure, is like a topper sort of shade. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this in my chopping block because I am not sure how I feel about it. 
This is from ColourPop. This is in the shade Appy, and I am keeping all of my ColourPops. This is a sample of one of the Bite Beauty multi sticks. This one is in the shade Brioche. We are decluttering. This is from Tarte. This is their Park Avenue Princess, and I just don't feel like this shade is going to be flattering for me, so we're going to declutter. This is from Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Joyride. I really love the Huda Beauty Power Matte Lipsticks, so we're going to hold on to this one. This is from Marc Jacobs. This one is in the shade No Angel. And while it is absolutely beautiful, it looks just like the shade behind it, which is from ColourPop, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. The aforementioned ColourPop lipstick, this one is in the shade What's Your Sign, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. This is from Sephora. Again, I don't think this is made anymore, but it's really very, very beautiful. This one is L14, so I am gonna go ahead and hold on to this one. I also have this from Rare Beauty. This one is in the shade Support, and I do really quite like it a lot, so we're gonna hold on to this one as well. ColourPop Villains Collection. This is Dr. Facilier, and I am keeping it. This is from Wet n Wild. I'm pretty sure that this is a dupe right here. I think these look exactly alike. This one may go on with a little bit more opacity. This is in the shade Cashmere, and it's very pretty. I really love the way that this looks. However, if I'm gonna be holding on to the MAC, there's no reason for me to hold on to the Wet n Wild because I will never get through one, let alone both. So this is gonna be a declutter. This is actually my favorite MAC lipstick ever. This is such an interesting and unique shade. This is the shade O, and I love it. These two are also very similar. I feel like this one from Wet n Wild is cooler in tone, but again, this would be a pretty, pretty okay dupe for O if you either can't find O or you don't wanna spend MAC prices, which I don't blame you. This one was only a few dollars, whereas this one's like 20, so keeping it, keeping it forever, I love it. ColourPop, this one is Layover and I'm keeping it. This one is a sample from Tarte. This is in the shade Rum Punch, and as pretty as it is, I'm keeping others that are very similar in shade, so I am gonna go ahead and declutter. Starting off our next round of swatches is from Stila. This is in the shade Bon Bon. I really like this color. I'm not super sure about the formula, so we are gonna go ahead and put this in my chopping block section. This shade right here is from Becca. This is in the shade Cupid's Kiss. This was a gift from my husband, so you know full well that we are keeping it. This is from MAC. This is in the shade Snow Filter. Really, really like this. This is one of their more sheer lipsticks. So this did take a little bit of building, but it's absolutely stunning, and I'm gonna hold on to it. This is Virgo Moon from ColourPop. Really like it, gonna keep it. And then this one here is Coco Pout. This is from Laura Mercier. And again, I really love it. I love that little bit of red in it, it's beautiful. All right, so this one here is LA Lady. And I know I said that I was gonna keep all of my ColourPop lipsticks because I really love them. And I do really love them. However, this is basically the same color and it just makes no sense for me to keep them both. So it is with a very sad heart that I am gonna go ahead and declutter this um, ColourPop shade in LA Lady. Another icon here, this is Velvet Teddy from MAC. Yes, I'm gonna keep it. Juvia's Place Toffee, you guys know I am obsessed. This is the most flattering, most beautiful brown I own, and I absolutely love it. ColourPop Disney Princess Collection. This one is in the shade Ariel. I think that all of the Disney Princess release lipsticks that I own, this one is my favorite. It is so beautiful on my skin and on my features, and I love it. It's beautiful. Nars Toile. Again, it's an icon um, that I'm gonna hold on to. This is Smashbox Honey, and it's very pretty, but it looks just like this shade right here, which is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is JK Magic, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass along Smashbox Honey in favor of the Charlotte Tilbury, which is, again, right here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury JK Magic, and I am gonna hold on to it. 
Also, this is from MAC. This is from their Aladdin collection. This is in the shade Raj, Raja, I can't remember. Uh, but this is beautiful and I'm keeping it. For the last of the bullet lipsticks, this is from Bite Beauty. This is in the shade Orange Fizz. This is one of the most unique orange lipsticks that I own, so I'm definitely keeping it. Foolish from ColourPop. It is a gorgeous orangey red, and I love it, and I'm keeping it. This is from Kiko Milano. This is such an interesting lipstick. This is from their Holiday Gems collection. It's just 02. It's really cool and I do like it quite a bit. Yum Yum from Sephora. I really, really adore this so, so much. This is from ABH. This is in the shade Rogue. I don't remember what I think of this on, so I'm going to put it into my chopping block. This is my very favorite Urban Decay lipstick ever, I believe. This is in the shade Bun Bun. This was a collab that was with somebody, Kristen Leanne maybe? I don't remember to be honest, but this shade is so stunning. So I am keeping that one. This is from Bite Beauty. This is one of their multi-sticks in the shade Cream. We will be decluttering that. And then this is from Milk Makeup. This is in the shade Skills. I really like this color, but I don't remember how it looks on, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in my chopping block. Okay, before I get started, I do have some lip glosses that I know I am going to have to declutter, which sucks, but it is what it is. So this one here is from Too Faced. This is the Melted Latex. I've never ever used this, so it is going to be uh, passed along. I believe the same goes for this one here. Yeah, I don't believe this has ever been used. This is one of the Infallible Pro Matte Glosses. Not matte. Gonna go ahead and declutter that one. These five here though, unfortunately, are destined for the bin. This one has, I don't know if you can see here, but it's separated and just looks funky. I remember really liking this, but it's been like this for a little while. I left it in my car and that was a mistake. So sadly, we're gonna have to throw this one away. This one from Almay, I've just, I've had forever and a day, and I just, I'm gonna have to declutter it. Additionally, these three from Marc Jacobs, these are sugar, sugar. They used to be a different color. I know for fact, they used to be a light pink, and now they are kind of an off-white color. That can't be good, that can't be good. This was at the this was purchased in a set. This these all kind of came together. If these two are wrong, this one's going to be wrong too. So sadly, all three of these are going to hit the bin as well. Okay, just a couple of side notes real quick. I am realizing that I started in on the lip glosses before actually finishing up the bullet lipstick style crayons. So we'll just sort of hop back and forth. I apologize about that. Also, if you can hear my girls, the monitor is in with me. They are supposed to be taking a nap, but one of them, as of today, has learned how to climb out of her crib. So, wish me luck there, but if you can hear them, I'm really sorry. There's honestly nothing that I can do about it. So, let's get started. This first one here is one of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Glosses. Again, not matte. Uh, this one is in the shade Bare Attraction. I honestly, I know that I've used this, I can tell from the inside, but I honestly don't remember what I think about it. I like this color quite a lot, so I'm gonna put this in my chopping block section. This is the original Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. Definitely keeping, it is absolutely incredible. This is from ColourPop. This is in the shade Paper Moon, and I love it. It's beautiful, I'm keeping it. Lip glosses are really easy for me to pan. This is also from ColourPop, this is from the original Disney Designer Collection. This is in the shade Magic Mirror, and you caught it. 
I'm keeping it. Behind it is another one of the infallibles. This one is the eight hour pro gloss. This is an actual gloss. Uh, this one is in the shade Barely Nude. Again, I don't remember what I think about it. I've clearly used it, so this is going to go into my chopping block as well. This is from Lorac. This is one of their Lip Luster glosses. This one is in the shade 3D Luster. Yeah, 3D Luster. I actually panned the pink version of this one, and I liked it just fine. But as you can see, I've been holding on to a lot of things. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to declutter this gloss. Ulta had a whole Harry Potter release. Uh, the only thing that I think I picked up was one of their glosses. This is platform nine and three quarters. So yeah, we're definitely keeping it. I should have decluttered this a long time ago. This is uh, one of the color icon lip glosses from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Gemini. This is a very opaque gold. I mean, honestly, it would make this color would make for a better eyeshadow than it does a lip gloss on me. Now the formula, not so much, obviously, but this does not look good on me and I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. This came in a boxy charm. I would expect this is from Steve Laurent. It is in the shade Posh. It's really pretty, but I don't need it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. Another one of the color icons, this one is in the shade Pout of Paradise. This is an orange lip gloss and I really like this a lot. So we're gonna hold on to it. This is from Sephora. This is just a deluxe sample of the Gel Gloss Ultra Brilliant Ultra Lip Gel, golly. Um, I have no idea what color this is. Yes, I do. It is in the shade 04 Perfect Nude, and I do like this, so I'm going to hold on to it. This one here from Pinky Lux is really pretty, but uh, it's in the shade Coffee Glaze. I don't need to keep another lip gloss. I have so many now, and I'm going to have more, so we're going to go ahead and declutter this one. One of the Fenty glosses, this one in the shade Confetti. I'm going to keep that. This is Bare Minerals. Uh, this is one of their Marvelous Moxies in the shade Influencer. I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. This one, it's just the Marvelous Moxie formula is just too gloopy for my liking. Then this back here is one of the Becca Glow Glosses. I think it's in the shade in the shade Champagne something or other. It's rubbed off. I like this. I tried to pan it at one point. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to it. This is a ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Obviously. I think this is gonna go into my chopping block. I like the color, but I really don't remember this at all. I think this is also gonna go into my chopping block. This is, I'm almost positive this is from ColourPop. It doesn't have any branding on it at all. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, put it in the chopping block and see what we think of it. This one will be keeping you guys if you followed my Trash Your Treasure Project Pan. This is one of my absolute favorite lip glosses. This is from Nabla Cosmetics. It's in the shade Stardust Radio and it's absolutely beautiful. This one I think I'm going to go ahead and pass on. This is from Appeal Cosmetics. This is their holographic lip gloss. This had to have come in a boxy charm. I've never heard of this brand before, um, but I just don't need it. This lip strobe from Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Ritzy. This is also going to go in my chopping block because this shade, I don't know how it looks on me. So I, I want to give it some testing out before I make a decision. From ColourPop and the Disney Designer Collection, this is Bobbity and it is really pretty. I really like this sort of peachy type of color, so we're going to keep this. This also must have come in a boxy charm. This is by the brand Laritzi. It is in the shade aura and it's actually really neat it's got this really interesting ultraviolet flip i don't know that you'd be able to even tell once applied to the lips and again i just don't need it i am trying so hard not to keep everything so we're gonna go ahead and declutter this abh parfait lip gloss in the tube i thought hands down this was going to be a keep because in the tube it's absolutely beautiful I'm not so sure now that it is swatched, so I think this is going to go into my chopping block. This one here also from ColourPop. This is an ultra glossy lip in the shade Lazy, and it's really pretty. I like that a lot, so we're going to hold on to it. And then this one back here from ColourPop. This is from the Villains Collection. This is in the shade Hot Headed. Again, this is one that I really thought that I was going to keep, but now that it's swatched out, it just pulls in a very odd sort of orangey shade so I'm gonna put this in my 
chopping block section to see how it looks on me and make a decision from there. Final round of lip glosses. We have this one here from ColourPop. This is an ultra glossy lip in the shade Just Surfed. Really pretty, definitely holding on to it. You guys probably know by now I really enjoy the Becca Glow Gloss formula. This one is in the shade Beach Bum and it's beautiful and I'm holding on to it. This from From Jouer, I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass on. I just don't think that this is going to be flattering on me personally. Becca Cosmetics Glow Gloss. This one is in the shade Creme Brulee, keeping. And the one behind it also, this is in the shade Cinnamon Bun. Those were both from the Christy Te Actually, all of those were from the Christy Teigen collab. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is in Cha 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 Changin. I absolutely love this. This is such a unique and fun shade, so absolutely holding on to that one. Another Becca Glow Gloss with the Christy Teigen collab. This one is in the shade Beach Nectar, holding on to it. And this one is probably one of my very favorite lip glosses of all times. Bite definitely needs to bring this back. This is from the French Press Collection. This is in the shade Dirty Chai, and it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I want to keep it forever. All right, I got them all onto one arm. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so starting from the top, this is ColourPop Cookie. I do like this quite a bit, so this is one that I'm gonna hold on to. This here is Trust Me. I don't think I need this. This one is also from ColourPop. This is Verde Valley, and I do like this a lot, so we're gonna keep it. This one from NARS. Uh, it's in the shade Tundra. I'm gonna put this in my chopping block because I'm just worried it's gonna be too cool. This one is a deluxe sample from Hourglass. It is in the shade Futurist. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my chopping block as well. This is from ColourPop. This is in the shade Coyote Ugly and I do like it so we are gonna keep it. This is also from ColourPop. This is in the shade Hotline. I'm concerned about the undertone, so we're gonna put this in the chopping block. Uh, I'm sad about this one. This is Greystone, I think, yeah, Greystone from Nude Sticks. This is just too dark for me. We're gonna declutter that. Lychee from Bite Beauty, chopping block. This is from ColourPop. This is in the shade Hike House, and I do like it, so we are gonna keep it. This is from Revlon. This is one of their HD sticks. It is in the shade HD Desert. I have attempted to pan this, so I am gonna hold on to it in hopes that I will finish panning it. This is Aquarius, and it looks very, very similar to some of the other ones, so I am gonna go ahead and declutter Aquarius. And then this is also a deluxe sample from Hourglass. It is in the shade Influencer. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the chopping block. There is so little product in those. I have a feeling I could probably pan those. This is ColourPop. This is in the shade Candy Paint. I do like this. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my chopping block though because I'm not sure if it's too dark for me, but it's a beautiful swatch. This one from NARS is also gonna go into my chopping block because again, the undertone is a concern. This is in the shade Wild Ways. ColourPop, Prairie Home. I am going to keep it. I really like these that came in the sandstone. This is Ziggy and I feel like I've kept others that are very, very similar in tone and shade. So Ziggy, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on. This one here from ColourPop is in the shade At Twilight. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this one. J Mama, I love this. This is from Nude Sticks. This is so pretty. This is one of their gel color uh, lip and cheek balm. I only really use it on my lips, but it's just, it's lovely. And then finally in the back we have Goldie. Um, I've already kept a lot of reds and I don't know how this compares to any of those, but I don't think I need to find out, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Side note, check out that nude sticks. Like, it does not wanna let go. <laughs> All 
All right, into the liquid lipsticks. We'll go ahead and start this off with NYX. This is their soft matte lip cream in the shade London. I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. I had thought that I would put it in my chopping block, but there's something about this undertone that I feel like will just look sickly on me. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter that. This is Verona from Ofra. I'm, I'm worried that this is gonna be too dark. I am gonna go ahead and put it in my chopping block because I want to wear it and see what I think, but I'm concerned. I will be holding on to this though. This is Tardist Bestie. I love this shade. I don't know why I stopped wearing it. This is from Bare Minerals. This is one of their Gen Nude sort of soft cream mattes. It's in the shade XYZ. I tried to pan this a couple of years ago, so I'm gonna hold on to it because I did enjoy it and I would like to try to pick it back up again. This is from Ulta. This is their matte lip cream. It is in the shade Courageous. I don't remember what this formula is like, so I am gonna go ahead and put this in my chopping block. We have a Melted Matte. This is in the shade Pumpkin Spice. I absolutely love this formula and this color. This is a Kathleen Lights ColourPop collab in the shade Little Star, and I do really quite like it. As far as the color goes, I don't remember how it wears, so I am gonna put this in my chopping block. This is a uh, liquid cat suit. This is by Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Give Me Mocha. This is really beautiful, but this is also really, really old. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and declutter this. I'm keeping others that are very similar to it. This is from Sydney Grace. This is one of their lip creams in the shade Christina. And I do quite like these, so I am gonna go ahead and hold on to it. All right, this is gonna be controversial. This is one of the Bite Liquefied Lipsticks. This is in the shade Puree. I love this color so much. I know I don't love this formula, but I love this color, so it's gonna go on my chopping block because I desperately wanna make it work. This is one of the Amore Matte Metallic Lip Creams from Milani. This is super old, uh, but it still smells amazing. I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass it along, well not pass it along, but probably get rid of it because I bought it in 2016 when I started my channel. We're gonna leave it at that. It still smells amazing though. This is one of the Tardis Lip Paints. This is in the shade Rose. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let that go. And then this one here is a velvet liquid lipstick from Ola Neon, I guess. Uh, I think it's in the shade DF. Don't know anything about it. This must have come in like a boxy charm or something. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. This is one of the Amuse Bouche liquefied lipsticks in the shade Whip. I tried to pan this. I'm actually gonna go ahead and declutter this and I'm okay with that. This is from Lila B Cosmetics. This is in the shade Be Elegant. And I absolutely love this. I really would love to buy the full sizes, except the doe foot is massive and that's not my favorite application. But this one here is just gorgeous. The one right next to it is from e.l.f. and the Alyssa Ashley collab. This is in the shade Nude Rose. They look so similar and I just can't seem to justify in my head keeping both. So I think I'm going to pass on the Alyssa Ashley collab. Melted Matte in the shade Gingerbread Man and I love this. You guys know that. Okay, so this is from Fenty, and this is in the shade Unbutton. I want to love this so much. I just don't know if I do. I've worn it a few times, and I just don't feel like it's flattering on me. I feel like, I feel like it does the whole butthole thing, and I don't love that. I'm going to keep trying, though. I'm going to put it in my chopping block and see. This is from Huda Beauty. This is in the shade... Bombshell, I love this. This is ColourPop, this is in the shade Zebra. I don't think I need this. 
Again, with the whole concealer lips thing, this is from Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Hemp. I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along as well. This one here is from the Beauty Crop. This I think came in some subscription because I've never purchased anything from them before. But this is in the shade Date Night and it's really pretty, but I don't remember anything about the formula. So this is gonna go into my chopping block. This is ColourPop. This is Take a Pixie. I love this, I know I love this. And then also we have from Buxom, this is in their Va Va Plump in the shade Getting Warmer. And again, I know I love this. All right, before I forget again, I have four more of the Smashbox Always On liquid lipsticks that have dried up and are completely unusable. So these are all going to be decluttered into the garbage. And for our final round of swatches, we have from Sydney Grace. This is in the shade Claire. I really do like this, so it is staying. This is ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Strip. I know I bought this because of Tatalia. It's very pretty, keeping it. You guys may also remember that this is one of my very favorite lip products of all time. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Hot Cocoa. They don't make it anymore and I'm definitely keeping it because it's beautiful. This is Ofra Miami Fever. Yeah, I'm keeping it. Although it went on really dry, so I'm worried that it might be drying out. KVD, this is Ludwig. Yes, this is Ludwig. Um, I remember that I think I really liked either this one or Bow and Arrow, which is coming up later, but I can't remember which one, so I'm gonna put that in my chopping block. This is from Tarte. This is one of their Tardis lip paints. I do not know what shade it's in, but I do not need it. We also have from the old packaging of the Too Faced Melted Chocolate. This is Chocolate Honey. It's really pretty. So we're gonna put it in my chopping block. This one is Bow and Arrow from KVD. So that goes into the chopping block. I feel like it was probably Bow and Arrow that I liked, but we'll find out. This is Too Faced, the Melted Matte in the shade Hot Buttered Rum. I love this, it's so pretty. This is another of the Tardis Lip Paints. This one's in the shade Exposed. I do not need this. This is from Makeup Geek. This is in the shade Waltz. This was a gift from my husband, so I will be holding on to it. Okay, so that, that didn't go as well <laughs> as it could have. Um, I knew that this was going to be my most difficult category because these are the colors that I gravitate towards the most and that I just, they speak to my soul and I, I still have work to do on them clearly. But let's talk final numbers. So I started with 187 products. Like that in and of itself is insane but i started with 187. of that i found 23 products that were in new condition and that were able to be donated so those were immediately pulled to the side and i'm very happy about that in addition to that there were 52 products that i have been able to declutter that either means that they were beyond redemption and ended up going into the garbage or they can be passed along to friends or family. So those two categories together means that I have, de I have taken 75 products out of my collection. That is good. But I have 35 products that are in my chopping block and I have chosen to keep a total of 77. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to choose to focus on the positive in that I went through and swatched everything in my collection and I have given myself a place to start. Um, this is probably going to be disappointing to many people and I'll be honest, it's disappointing to me. I really had wanted to do better but it's hard for me to declutter because I purchased all of these. I am not to the point where I am receiving PR, right? Nobody's just sending me stuff saying, here, Ashley, try it. Um, I mean, occasionally, if you want to count, you know, things like Influencer or certainly like um, 
subscription boxes and things like that. But on the whole, I purchased all of these items and I did that because I liked them. And so then to turn around and be like, nah, I don't need that anymore. It's hard for me because I want to get my money's worth and I want to use the things that I am drawn to. And so that just means that I have an absurd amount of makeup that I will never use all of. So it is going to be a work in progress. Um, many of you have asked what I'm planning to do um, as far as my chopping block section goes, how I'm going to be updating you guys, things like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work them all into one master spreadsheet and then I'm going to kind of tweak my trash or treasure project pan to include just those items because I do want to continue decluttering from here, especially in that chopping block category, because if it's in there, it's because I don't remember if I like it or not. I don't remember if I enjoy the formula. I don't remember if the color looks good on me. So I don't want them to just sit until the next time I'm overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that I have and I'm still left hemming and hawing. So I'm gonna put those into a master spreadsheet and we're gonna start working off of those in my Trash Your Treasure Project Pan so that hopefully I can still continue to bring those numbers down. So that is where we where we have left it. Um, anyone who has made it this far with me, thank you so much. I know that these videos are incredibly long and I appreciate each and every one of you who have supported me all of these years and continue to support me. I love you so much, thank you. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.